Hey, Jeez! Welcome back to my show back of reactions. We're gonna be watching episode 11 and most likely episode 12 as well. It is raining pretty heavily right now. You might hear it. There's a lot of thunder. And then, um, yeah, it's thunder. I don't know if you could hear it. Yeah. Um, last time. Last time we finished Exodus. Uh, we got a little actual ending to it. A very emotional ending to it. Instead of the whole, uh, a spectacle kind of ending that they wanted to start that they started to think about like a Hollywood sort of ending we actually ended up with a more emotional end and then um, that girl I forgot her name the CG girl uh, quit her job her, her well-paying job to achieve her dreams a bit more which is drawing and creating not drawing but creating uh, this kind of art that she wants to create and then uh, we're looking for a new job for her and uh, that's that kind of sucks because I mean she's still there for like three more weeks to finish her work so yeah mm. bit of a cold sorry mm. 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 that's annoying okay um yeah I think that's it um yeah we're gonna watch this it's gonna be two versions of this reaction video a picture and picture version I hit my mic sorry about that a picture picture version which you can find in the description below and a time beast version, which you are watching right now. If you want to sync up your own media to the time beast version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down from 5. Because that's what they do, and a 0 is the same thing. My videos are playing on my screen. Timer will go. Wait, here. Okay, if you want to set up AP discussions, we'll be back over on YouTube where you have to check those out. Thank you to our patrons to get these videos a week early than everyone else. If you want to help out the channel, we can do that with the description. The links in the description. It's a very chill OP. It's a, it fits the slice of life-esque elements of this show. It's not necessarily entirely Slice of Life, but there's definitely elements of it in the show. Mm -hmm. Um, Donut! So we ate donuts last episode, it was great. Still raining. <laughs> you might hear the rain and some thunder. If you skip the intro, that's why I'm saying that right now. I know it's not over. I thought it was over. The keyframe, the storyboarding was over. Sorry about that. Let me just get my notes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh no, more problems. The little keyframe girl. She's so petty. I love her. Let's 
एक्सक्यूज मी Keep it up. <laughs> okay. I need to focus more. I'm missing some lines. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna devolve into her just becoming depressed because she can't find anyone. Just immediately. <laughs> uh Wow, that sucks. Oh no. Don't blame us. Ah, okay, that makes sense. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. In your boobs. Sorry. That's right, she's getting depressed. Oh, kiss me. <laughs> of course. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about that in the intro. Who's that character that uh, he has a figure of? He has a lot, apparently. I wonder if th those figures are references. I like this way to express her internal monologues, dialogues, or whatever. <laughs> the born. Thunder. Sorry about it. <laughs> They're hiding, that's cute. From baseball. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Where is your
So it's entirely passion. That's great. Mm, more of that. Like, she can't make up her mind at all. Oh, that's harsh. I was about to say. I was about to say. Thunder. <laughs> Didn't get it. Right? She Is the sister the voice for the doll itself as well? Sounds similar. Don't want no accidents. That's the double negative. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Just some scary memories from the place. No, the gang guy anymore? Thunder, really loud. Hmm. Wow. We're just rushing this now and she is out of luck. So much thunder. I don't know how well this is gonna sound. Oh, excuse me. This weather makes me really sleepy. Excuse me. You're the one I least trust. Haha. <laughs> Uh, we can't have any more Ikemen. Hmm. Is there a... Okay. Oh, she's having the opposite of what she experienced before. Nice. Ah!
<laughs> oh, I love that guy. Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Ghibli! <laughs> She's okay. She's good. She's cute. Let her in because she's cute. Of course. Hmm. She's learning. She's just coming to some realizations. Oh wait. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was about to say later. I'm still gonna talk about it later. Hmm. Being young and foolish. Tired and trouble. Wow. Don't Japanese people use the word trouble slightly differently? Who's that? Oh, Erica's up to something. Taro! Shut up! <laughs> it can't possibly be worse than Taro. Mm. The rain is so loud. Let me check something. I hit my mic again. Sorry about that. It's close to my mu to my mouse. Let's move it a bit. Nice. Still no one. Wow, the rain is so loud. Is it Christmas? Christmas! Ha! <laughs> We're doing that little match, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of funny. And she's gonna start seeing the animation. No, what she's seeing. They're censored, whatever they are. Oh my god, yes! Yes! <laughs> I 
I know this, uh, I don't know, the, I forgot the name of that one. It's also uh, another children's anime, but the one is Doraemon. Is that Gundam? <laughs> I like the sudden cut. Sorry about the noise, it's really raining. It's really pouring down. What? Ah! That far? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a cool shot. That's a, some cool shots right there. Die to Yosh! Okay. I'm an egg. Some tea. Okay. This is the earlier it was the little match girl. Wow. Rain, sorry. <laughs> They're playing Mahjong. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What was editor in chief? Okay. <laughs> Neon locomotive. Okay. Okay. I mean, thunder. I don't know how loud everything is right now. Is she was she, he was joking. He was joking. So I'm days the deadline, okay. So I was strong in the intro. It's not finished yet. The storyboarding was finished. And we still have a lot to do. And rain! Rain! I'm just listening to the rain a bit like uh, I'm just, I'm gonna check some Probably should be discussion survival on YouTube. Okay, milky no donuts, donuts. Mita, 
つな気持ちをつるにはずっと思い続けるしかない。ゆらりあぜるかれどうなずつ。つひとつ。Yeah. Love letter. We're gonna watch a preview. It's not spoilery, so we can watch it. Exodus Christmas. That sounds awesome. It's all this episode.、Uh, that was great. That was, this is a, an amazing episode. Uh, uh, it's about on the same level as a lot of other of this show's episodes. But、uh, first of all, yeah, I was wrong. Only the storyboards were done. We still need keyframes. We still need in betweening. We still need the dubbing. We still need so much. And then, and then, we can't find key animators. We can't find the keyframe. The ones to draw the keyframes, the Genga, if you will. So、um, that sucks. <laughs> the entire beginning of the episode, Aoi is so peppy and just cheerful, and she's like, "Okay, we're gonna find the animator." And then as time goes on, as, as I said, she just, she just divulges into depression. <laughs> But it doesn't really stop her. She just keeps going and asks like. Some bigger people for it. Also, what did they say? Neon locomotive something galleon. I fuck. Neon locomotive Ivan Garden. So, what's the name of the director for not direct the director for this for Neon Genesis Ivan Galleon? I forgot his name. Is it similar? It's similar to Kan. It's Anno, Anno or something. I'm gonna look it up. Fuck it.、Um, uh, Ivan Galion. Ivan Galion. Not. I'm gonna look it up. Anno, yeah. So they were making fun of Anno by calling him Kanno. They just changed, just added the K to it. That was great. I knew it was similar to the name that was given. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's so good. That's so good.、Um, okay, let's go through this chronologically now. So everyone has their issues. They can't really do the keyframes, and she's running out of people to talk to.、Um, and also, we learn more about Erika and how her father is in the hospital, and she, it's her only family that she have left. They talk about an aunt, so maybe they don't get along very well.、Uh, I don't know. I want to look at the figures. I want to know if those are references to something. I, I think they are. I'm not entirely sure. Also, the hat behind them also feels like a reference to something. The golden one right here. You can't see my mouse. I'm sorry about that. I was encircling it. Uh, having the dolls, the doll, and then the stuffed bear, be the, be the, like a visualization for always internal struggles, internal、uh, monologue, dialogue.、Um, it's really cool.、Uh, we've had it multiple times, but it's just cute. Also,、uh, I'm pretty sure based on the voice that、uh, she uses whenever、uh, they talk. The doll stock. It sounds like it's the same voice actress as the sister. So I don't know. I don't know who the who the bay would be though. She sucks at job interviews, and then、um, okay, this is probably the most interesting line throughout the entire episode and. First of all, I just want to say, 
uh, very interesting that um, we show that uh, that she's filled with passion, but she has no direction. She doesn't know where to direct that passion towards. She just feels like she needs to do something about it, but she doesn't know what. And I get the feeling that it is very true to a lot of creative people, like uh, anyone that has uh, as a I'd say I consider myself slightly creative. Not not I'm mean, bad at things, but still uh, I like writing and all that stuff. But uh, the idea is sometimes it's just, especially if you're just starting out, you just don't know what to do with all the passion and ideas that you have. So I definitely get her saying, "I will do anything if you hire me." That is like a perk, right? Like, you can tell me to do anything, and I will do it. But then the boss person guy was like, I don't like people who say that they will do anything. That is very telling of the kind of philosophies that this company holds. Because it feels like they don't want someone who is like a, like, like a loose cannon. Like they would just do anything for them. For them. They want someone that actually knows what they want and will try to achieve it. And if you're not that kind of person, we can't really hire you. Kind of similar to the idea with uh, the CGI girl, where um, she definitely has an idea as to where she has to uh, assert her passions into, and then, and then uh, that's why she actually seems to have gained the respect of her boss, even though she was resigning. It felt, it felt real. It felt good. I like that a lot. So yeah. This guy is always wearing a baseball thing, and earlier we saw him with a, with a bat. I don't know. So we see the, the letters, and she's not accepted to any. Also, minor fan service. <laughs> Very minor fan service. Oh, sorry, I farted. <laughs> sorry, I farted. <laughs> I'm assuming this is like their uh, family home, like when she was still living with parents or something, or maybe her sister. You know? I like that she's so he's so curious uh, who that who that girl was. I get the feeling that even though uh, she wasn't accepted into the company, it really felt like she left some kind of impact. Was it a negative? Was it a positive impact? Possibly not, but it's still an impact that she laid onto the boss man person. And we still can't find anyone. And then we're gonna do interviews. I like that this is in the same episode because uh, she's basically in the shoes of the people that judged her before and she doesn't have any idea how to judge anyone. She just thinks that, oh, everyone's good, everyone's trying their best and everyone's nice. So that means everyone should be in, in, in the company. <laughs> That's basically her thinking. Um, or not, not that everyone should be in the company, let's scratch that out. But the idea that everyone seems to be able to do to help so I don't think I don't know what I'm trying to look for which is very telling again of her ideas of herself and how she perceives herself and yeah the way she perceives herself isn't very objective and that's why the way she per perceives everyone else when she's told explicitly to judge these people is like it's not it's not it's not again uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Objective. So yeah, so it's not like that. Okay. Okay. I like the the girl that, that likes doujins. She's cute. She's really cute. And she has the highlights. I really like the yellow highlights. And then talks to someone about that again. She leaves. Okay. I like that everyone's just shitting on Taro. Because come on, Taro's not that good. And uh, we just hired him. I wonder if we're ever gonna get like a moment where we realize that Taro is like integral. Or not necessarily integral, but more like useful to the entire team. Like uh, there's some benefit as to having this fucking idiot all the time around here. So yeah. 
And we're talking about the possible new anime we're gonna adapt and create. This this bit was fun. Um, I get I get the feeling that uh, the little match girl was a more of a bigger thing in Japan. I don't, I, I've seen it in so many different anime. By so many, I mean like three, and this is like the fourth. <laughs> so. Uh, I like the little logos that are blurred out because they're seeing the the other studios. I wanna, I wanna look at the Ah there, 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 there. Okay, this is Shishin or something like that. Something that sounds similar to that. Chinshin. Something like that. I don't know. The one on the left. I can't see my mouse. But the one on the left, I know that I know that one. I watched a few episodes of that when I was a lot younger. Doraemon, I watched a lot of Doraemon when I was younger. And then this guy, I don't know who this guy is. It's like Doki Momo from Phineas and Ferb. Except white. Uh, okay. Um, is there anything in the background? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything in the background. And then there's robots. And they're all censored, it's great. I like the little cut that while the Christmas Carol was playing, and then so it's a very sudden cut. I like that. This gives you the vibe of it. What is that thing? The orange animal thingy with wings. That's cute. Ooh, I love looking at Genga. Sometimes when I'm bored, I literally just look at Genga on uh, Sakura Buru. Sakuga, not Sakura. Sakura Buru. There's some Genga there that it's really fun to look at. She's uh, not the best right now. Okay, this I think I talked about this earlier that she, Taro might be useful. Taro is useful in uh, emergency situations, I guess. <laughs> Where uh, we, we can't have anyone else leaving right now, so we're gonna have Taro leave. He's useless. Of course, he's, he's, do he's doing work. It's not useless, but you know what I mean. It's just an over-exaggeration. You know, uh, there's something in... The little, the little thing here, super fun. The extreme movements was super fun. Yeah, that's not, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, he does that for a bit. Um, okay, I think that's it for this one. We're gonna watch one more episode twelve. Uh, I think I need to pee first, or maybe take a shit, I'm not entirely sure. More both! I might need to do both. Be right back! Alright, episode 12 of Shiro Bako. We're gonna watch this right now. There's gonna be two versions, time base will have a timer. Timer will go here. Uh, then wait, 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 before we go timer. Yep, yep, okay. Timer will go here! Still, so much rain. Rain! So much rain. Oh, we're not getting an OP. You know it's about to get serious. Apparently. <laughs> we keep talking about that. Ghost wing. GI. Permit. Wow.
啊。I just want a way to bring a big shot animator suddenly. I I just really want a way to bring like a big big shot animator suddenly into the fold. Hello. Yeah. Does it? Come in. Let's go. <laughs> it, oh, it's actually yeah. You know him. Wow. What? Ha! <laughs> that looks like a very a Ava shot. Good question. Oh, let's connect that to that. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> ah, so that's why he asked about the planes. But, yes, she is. What? Everyone's falling asleep in the, um, the word spaces. Nice. Okay. Yo, what's up? Oh, wow. This is the area, might as well. Ah, can't, okay. Oh, we're gonna cut corners, okay. Oh, I just realized! That's what happened to Eva!
a similar thing happened to their TV series of Eva. <laughs> oh, who can enjoy? So, get you get him now and movie. Hmm. The rain isn't as loud anymore, but there's a lot of thunder. And this Chucky! Yeah, I noticed. Look at him! He's so passionate about it! I love it! Is that supposed to be a reference to the Bible? A three-day miracle? Hmm. This is good too. One of the creators of your favorite show. That's gotta be amazing. He's old. Aww, that's relationship goals. <laughs> Where are you going? Yep. Aww, that's cute. Oh, relationship goals. You're both animators. <laughs> Experience, yeah. <laughs> Just accidentally said it out loud, thinking out loud. Mm. I shall do the cleanups. Oh, this is the climax of the first half, isn't it? Huh? 
भाई वो नाइस वो आज को या आई डोंट नो इट्स एनीथिंग Yeah, because he's old. Hmm. She has found direction. She already had it, but it was strengthened. Energy bar. Hey, Erica. I think that's her name. <laughs> yeah, no, Erica. Emma should be listening to this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're almost there though. Like I can feel being busy. Does that make sense? Ah, that's great. But it went really bright. Sorry about that. Oh, that's great. Okay. Oh, it's Anders. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cute.
<laughs> that was great. A little transition like that. Deadline day. <laughs> the tension. <laughs> That's gotta be Hell yeah I'm over there, I'm over there. <laughs> That's gotta be scary as all hell. Okay, I want to see this. Ep I want to see this episode. I'm, okay, this is good enough. That's a tank. <laughs> Just the keyboard. Oh my god. Uh, uh. me. Okay. Yosh! Huh? <laughs> Gotta hold, get a hold of herself. She's always been calm and collected. Now she's ooh, giddy. That's cute. I don't, I don't know her name. The black haired one with the bangs. Yeah, this is the climax for the first half. It's quite good. I feel so, like, I feel like I'm part of the team. I never so happy that it's done. 
that we succeeded in it. Aww. That we succeeded in finishing the anime. So good. Ah, we're done! It seems like there's an after credit scene. Based on the fact that there's a, like some time left in the near. Uh, if you want to see the baby discussions back on YouTube, there's gonna be timestamps in the description. Mir Kitty, no donuts, donuts. Maru Sekai ga mieta, mieta. Tsuna kimochi wo tsuru de yo ni wa. Sorry. Labureta. I hope we get another opening. I don't know. Hey! Oh, she he took it! She took it! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Ruin this speech. What is she about? What is she about? Okay. Yo! Yon! San, ni, ichi. That's all about this episode. Okay, what kind of clouds do you like? That's an interesting question. First of all, I want to talk about something, and that is the fact that, uh, okay, first of all, before even that, uh, no, no OP, no, e, no OP is always a sign that, uh, uh, a slice of life, or in this case, a slice of life s anime is gonna have some uh, some seriousness to it, and this has become the like the pinnacle, the climax for the for this first half of the show. Like for for this first ha entire half, we've been focused on literally just finishing Exodus and making it a, good, a, a hit and everything, airing it and everything. What's Shiro Bao? What's Shiro Bao? Is it like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, another thing, is first of all, the one where I said first of all, first, <laughs> is about uh, a theme that I'm starting to notice in this show, is uh, one, is the idea of finding what it is that you want to do, finding your passion and doing it, and the other one is the fact that no matter who you are, you can contribute to something as long as you want to. And uh, I want to talk about the fact that, um, again, in the last episode where um, the guy, the boss man person, <laughs> I keep calling him that, but the, the guy in, in the other studio was like, um, I don't like people who say that they would do anything. That relates to the idea that Mia, that uh, Aoi is right, was saying where uh, Aoi literally just wants the project done. She doesn't care who does it. And that's kind of similar to that idea of I would do anything. Because that's to her, she's, there's no personal connection to the, to the project, to what they're doing. And I definitely agree with the whole thing of, wait, the whole thing of, um, what is it? What is it? Uh, the animators want to be told that you only you can do this. Yeah. I think anyone can, wants to be told whenever whenever it comes to their job, whenever it comes to their passion. I think anyone 
everyone wants to be told that you should only you can do this and it's great and um i don't know so those two themes are what seem to be the core ideas that the core philosophies throughout the entire show and i get the feeling we're gonna uh, expound on that a bit more because i get the feeling that uh we haven't explored uh always um insecurities as that much yet um or insecurities of not really want, knowing what to do specifically is uh, something that is a very interesting trait to put into your main character so if we're gonna continue the show after them finishing Exodus then that means that we need more info we need to learn more about Aoi we need to learn more why she acts this way we need to learn more why and how she can change how she can do something else and contribute even more and then there's also the fact that even if you are just a production assistant, you are contributing greatly. Like, even if you're not an animator, you're not CGI artist, you're, you're still doing something that at the very end creates this final product. And the final product would have been created if it wasn't for your help. And the thing that is almost ironic about this is the fact that uh, when she thinks about the idea that uh, anyone can just do this as long as they can do it, is the idea that uh, she probably thinks that being a production assistant is something that she can be easily replaced and that's probably something that she thinks about but uh, I don't think that's entirely true because all of the production assistants are quite different in their own rights and specifically Taro, Taro being a useless <laughs> not useless sorry he's not useless <laughs> but, but uh, Taro being Taro it's just uh, he has his own thing and I, I get the feeling that we're gonna explore the fact that even if she is just a production assistant, she still contributes greatly to the creation product. Like if it wasn't for her, specifically her being herself, her being this giddy little kind of naive girl, she wouldn't be able to get uh, Kano to get freaking Segui or whatever his name was. <laughs> I forgot it. There's so many names in the show. I'm sorry. The the guy that animated the horses, that guy. Uh, the generation gap is an interesting line because apparently she watched probably the entirety of Andes Chucky, and then they didn't, didn't watch Ava. I mean, okay, that's it's kind of cute. Oh, so the line about t um, turning the horses into planes is really interesting. It's a it's a figure of speech. A very unique way to express himself, very artsy way to express himself, and that's the idea that um, I can draw planes really well, but I can't draw horses as well. I, I, I can draw horses as good. So, so you're asking for my help, and my help specifically, I'm gonna draw airplanes, <laughs> and that's a really neat way of saying that you're thinking about this all wrong, and it's really cool. I get the feeling that uh, they did a good job of uh, respecting the director of Evangelion with this kind of parodying of him. I, I hope the director of Evangelion didn't take this personally. Because there's also the fact that um, once they were talking about how they had need to cut things to, to make it work, it's uh, like very similar to what Evangelion did because Evangelion throughout the entire show cut corners so much like there's some scenes that literally just repeat frames over and over but it still is artistically inspired and it still looks good and that's kind of the interesting thing about Evangelion in terms of production value is that uh, Evangelion looks great even though a lot of it is outdated <laughs> not outdated that's not the right word um it isn't the most worked upon does that make sense like it didn't take as much work as uh, other shows, but it still looks just as good, if not better. And then also, talking about the end, where uh, they need to do the end, and if they can't do anything, they're just gonna do whatever it is. Which actually happened with the end of Evangelion, not the movie, the end of the TV series Evangelion. And then, um, <laughs> that was a very bizarre ending. Last two episodes were very bizarre, and then um, it was so cheap. <laughs> There's not that many cuts happening, and a lot of the cuts that were there are actually 
uh, cuts that were used in earlier episodes. And then, <laughs> but, it, but it works sort of, and then it kind of confuses you a tiny bit though. Of course, there's the end of Evangelion, which is still a lot better than than the actual end. And then uh, there's also the re, what's it called? The re, the movies, the three movies. I forgot what they were. Uh, yeah. I also like the fact that Kano is always very expressive, like he has his hand gestures and everything. And while being completely stone faced, <laughs> that's really neat. It's a neat little detail. Uh, you can tell the experience from that that uh, he still has this passion, which is like his overexertion, like moving even though it is unnecessary. And then you can see his experience to the fact that he's serious about this, like he's just straight faced, nothing to say, other than, other than facts, whatever. This couple is super cute. I like them. This is relationship goals right here. We're both animators and it's great. I do like the fact that Emma started thinking out loud. I was like, how is he able to think? How is he able to know to know that? Just experience. You'll know when you when you when you are in the industry for 50 more years. <laughs> I always like the in anime the badass old guy that comes in and is actually really good at whatever it is that we're doing. If it's fighting, it's fighting. It's, and if it's, it's animation, it's animation. And it's really great that we have that kind of trope again. But uh, this one makes more sense than the fighting ones, of course, because uh, the guy that is just basically spent his entire life doing animation is going to be amazing at animation. Also, there's no more rain, so no more thunder as well. So it's not as loud anymore. Okay, uh, what was it talking about? Um, yeah, yeah, very cool stuff. Uh, the montage of them drawing horses was interesting. And now he's gonna open a little workshop, that's cute. Want to be able to draw like that too. There's something about the way the mouths are drawn in this anime that I find really cute. I don't know what it is. Energy bar. Okay. My butt's starting to hurt. I've been sitting down for a while. And then she starts singing the Andes Jockey song. And it's great. I do feel the tension. That's what I meant by I feel like I'm within the group. Because it really feels like, oh, well, it's our group now. Because it's, it's, it's like, yeah, I feel it. It's great. <sighs> Nabe seems to be calm about this. Sorry about that. Do a plane, okay. Okay, we actually see parts of it. Okay. And there's something about the mouths that I find really cute. Also, at the end of the ED, she accepts the letter! And she just goes, ah, yeah! I get the feeling because of this, specifically because this happened. We're gonna get a new OP and new ED next episode. <laughs> this is like character growth for the for the dolls in the ED. It's great. Um, the final product, Seth called the Shiro Bot. What is Shiro Bot? What does she look? I'm gonna look it up. What does Shirobao means? What does Shirobao mean in terms of the anime? Shirobao was supposed to mean white box, yes? I. Okay. I actually thought of that, but I was like, no, that's not what it means. Ah, cool, box. refers to a video recording that is distributed to members of the production staff. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, we're done. We're gonna do another episode next week. So, I think that's it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion a bit earlier than everyone else, you can do that on the page right below. If you really help out, you don't have to, but you can, though. It means the world to me. Yeah, it would. Leave a like and a video, subscribe to the channel, all the fun stuff. Bye! -bye.